sorry, uh, will be the six following topics. First, we'll look at the like the context about uh, data visualization, data communication. Uh, for example, in uh, identifying the, the the end users and their needs. Then we will try to dig a little bit in uh, in like uh, in, in in dirty uh, parts of uh, data manipulation. And finally, I will give you some example uh, that we have in uh, our region uh, with a tool called Peristory, which uh, is a, a way of uh, sharing uh, data and with the uh, end users. If you have any question, uh, you you are, you can. Uh, Type them in the chat, and we will try to be um, to be certain to read them. And uh, as you you will see, there will be some little polls. So if you can, uh, you can go to pollf.com. You can enter uh, my name, and then you will have a small question, and we will uh, have uh, like a first uh, activity. So the question is. What does data visualization, data dissemination, what does it evocate to you? Um, you know, in your jobs, uh, what are the difficulties? What are the, the points of interest that you encounter when you are talking about this? What are maybe your, your wishes? Um, so, yeah, so just to, to begin, maybe to, to know you a little better, uh, just to have some uh, responses. I hope this works. If uh, anyone has issues, uh, do not hesitate to type them in. Oh, sorry. I hope we don't have to create a thing. Okay. So the idea is just to have a kind of cloud word. So you can just type. Uh, Yes, I I already have some uh, in, interesting elements. I will try to share them with you. Um, how can I share the answers? You know, many people are talking about communication. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> Most important uh, important part is communicating. So you have also said impactful. So yeah, to to have the right impact on the right people to be sure that uh, the use of data and the 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 information between the uh, behind the data are well effective. To be sure that uh, people understand it well. Okay. I hope everyone has shared uh, something with us. Okay, thank you very much for this. Um, we'll go on, we have a tight schedule. So, so I'll go on. Um, so the first topic is what determines uh, effective communication of data. So the first point to consider, uh, we have kind of steps. So first we need to, to identify the need for data. And uh, for example, if we are talking about energy related data, uh, we need the consumption of industrial sector because we want to try to, we want to launch projects about uh, uh, heat, for example, and the heat uh, use. So we have a need. But uh, we need to find any uh, any data set that is uh, available and uh, that we can access. So there are some some data sets that can be free of charge and some that must be paid for. Uh, there are some of them which are public public or private. 
Um, there are some of them we have, which have already been treated and uh, processed. So you can have like the end, end data and some of them are raw data that you need to, to handle uh, yourself. So depending on the project, uh, you have to select the right data set or the right data sets if you need more than one. And once you have identified the data sets, you can also identify partners, uh, stakeholders that can be concerned by the data or that can be um, your partners in this project to help you uh, understand them and uh, uh, handle them uh, the most effectively. And uh, finally, of course, you have to decide uh, who is the target audience and to, to try to understand it. We will come back later, but uh, it's a, a, key, a key part of, uh, of uh, data use and data presentation. Of course, uh, throughout all this process, you have to be aware of uh, the data regulations that are in place in your country, in Europe, in uh, maybe other continents, because it can um, have a, a strong impact on the, the whole process. I was talking about, for example, industrial data. And of course, it's protected by uh, uh, competition uh, laws or uh, some laws like that. So you cannot have access to any kind of data and you cannot share them and present them and make them public as you want. And so you have to be aware of these regulations, but hopefully for mo most cases, it's it's uh, quite promising. Um, so uh, before uh, making more progress on the data visualization, we will just uh, ha have a few quick looks at bad examples. So there are many, many examples where sometimes it can be poorly presented and therefore leads to misunderstanding. So first you have to know the audience because if you are talking to people who are experts in the, in the, in the topic, who know uh, for sure uh, many, many uh, data already, uh, you can show them some complex uh, representations and some complex graphs and you can go into details. But for if you are talking to general public, you must be clear, more concise, you must be very uh, like you must limit the max at the maximum uh, what you are show, trying to show to be sure that you will be understood. Uh, for example, uh, I took um, a graph from uh, um, Fox News uh, TV uh, show um, uh, 10 years ago about the unemployment rate. And if you look at this curve, you will obviously see that there are some issues because for example, on the right, uh, the 8.6 is at the same level than the nine at the, on the left. And it's not at the right level compared to the axis and the Y axis. And uh, here you have the 8.8 .8 is below the 8.6. So if you, if you try to create the real curve, you will have something like that, which is quite different from what was shown in the, in the, in the show. <clears throat> and if you choose a different uh, scale, like on the right, you will have some also something different because you will like crush the curve. So it will look very flat if you compare it to zero. And here you have a very small, sm smaller scale. So you can see the evolution more precisely. So that's the first like basic point is to have a good graph and uh, you can manipulate people if you try to to not to respect this uh, presentation. Um, another example is, uh, I was talking about complexity. Here you have uh, like many information about three universities, Athena, Bravo, Delta. And you have also, um, so curves, three curves, uh, publication and growth rate, citations growth rate and author growth rate, uh, which are by the way, not very like explicit about what they mean or what they uh, what they mean or what they are related to, and you have also uh, bar graphs like about the number of authors, total publication, total citations. So there are many issues about this graph that makes it uh, not so easily to easy to read. So that's like another uh, bad example that you must be if you are talking 
uh, maybe to uh, people who are not used to data, data visualization, you must be like quite clear and it's it's, it's uh, quite soon, uh, quite uh, often uh, better to, to choose simple and precise uh, visualization than complex with a lot of information. And the final uh, example with, um, which is not like a bad example, but it's just to highlight the fact that here on the left, you have how far commuters travel and how. So for example, uh, you have a, a big uh, blue, light blue uh, squares uh, with all distances and you have cars and trucks and then you have public transportation, walking and other uh, motorcycles, etc. And you have the same distribution for zero to 10 uh, kilometers per trips, 10 to 50, etc., etc. And so the, the, there are no like bad, it's not a bad manner to, <laughs> to use this, but it's just that you are putting on the same, on the same spot like the whole, whole um, digits and then the like distribution throughout the uh, trips. Um, so it's hard to read uh, this graph. And if you look at the, this uh, on the right, you also see that the, uh, oh, sorry, it's cut, but it's overall and then zero to 10, 10 to 50, 50 to 100 on over 100. So the scale is like, um, once again, crushing the, the the numbers, so so it's hard to read. So it would have been like mm, maybe easier to read if it was stacked on the ratio and the ratio. So we ha you have the ratio for this kind of trip um, of distances by uh, and the distribution by uh, means. So. It's, it's not like those graphs are not like misleading or bad, but it's just, they are not easy to read. So it would, it would have been better to, you know, to choose another representation. We will uh, go into details uh, later, but just so you have like examples of what are the limits and what are the, not the dangers, but uh, maybe uh, the, the points you sh we should be aware when we are using data visualization.